centuries since the Doom of Valyria, which left House Targaryen as the last bastion of the blood of the dragon. We have strived to expand our holdings ever since, and now we are poised to conquer using the dragons as the ultimate weapon, rather than relying on our meager manpower. The free cities have called upon me to unite them into a new freehold. Westeros and its seven kingdoms, however, seems a greater prize. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, the War of Conquest. It is I, the Golden Jubilee, and we're playing as Lord Aegon II, the Conqueror of the Seven, the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros. And this is essentially going to be me kicking everybody's ass. We're going to kick everybody's ass. We're going to conquer everybody. We're going to burn their castles. We're going to burn their people. We're going to make them bend the knee. They will bend the knee. And uh, essentially, I'm not expecting that to be too difficult. It's actually rather easy. I am looking more forward to establishing a dynasty that stretches a thousand, thousand years. Which, that is the hardest part about Aegon's little campaign, is making heirs that are strong enough to essentially... Uh, hold the mantle of conqueror, of uh, rulers of the Targaryen dynasty. That's going to be the challenge that we'll try to overcome this time. War of Conquest. All right, read, we already read all of that. We've got Lord Aegon here. We've got our sister wife, Visenya. We've got uh, our, also, uh, our second sister wife, Rhaenys. Uh, Half-brother, Oris Baratheon, right here. Velena's still alive. And we, we will get our dragons here once the timer starts. It seems to be a delayed thing. Um, all of Westeros shall bend the knee. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we will actually do. I will establish a new Valyrian Empire in Essos. Very tempting. Very tempting, but we're not going to do that. Um, actually, accept the Storm King's offer of an alliance. We're not going to do that because, I mean, Argella, she's cool and all, you know, attractive, strong, always great traits to have. But uh, we're not, we're not going to ally. We're not going to be servants to the Storm King. We will be, we will be the one king of all seven kingdoms. So Westeros shall bend the knee. Awesome. After the Storm King, Argalak the Arrogant refused my offer of a marriage between my friend Oris and his daughter, insulting me by cutting our envoy's hand, hand off. I thought it was both hands. Uh, I knew that the White King Westeros would resist. I will take these lands by force if necessary. There will be only one king. So the conquest essentially is going to be a kind of event, event driven, I assume. And I assume it works. I've had it a few times in the past where it doesn't, the events don't fire or they don't fire in the proper order. And so that you don't actually fully conquer everything. But we're, we're going to, we're going to try our best to do that. So I think what we, I mean, we can change up how we do the conquest, but I really want the events to, uh, to fire properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it based off of what Aegon did back during the conquest. Hopefully I don't end up eating my own words <laughs> and promising something I can't deliver because I've been known to do that sometimes. Change what I'm doing in a campaign uh, within the first or second episodes. Uh, let's see. Uh, we will take it by force. There will only be one king. We will start off by destroying Heron the Black and all of his sons. The Iron Isles shall submit and we will declare war on them. Yes, Westeros is a state of war. Excellent. They will honor their obligations. Right. So before we march off to war, we need to set up our council. You know, do all the usual housekeeping. Ooh, Oris Baratheon is Hand of the King. Um, I think I'd rather have Oris be the Master at Arms. Because he's he's not that great of a... See, look at that marshal. He's got 30 marshal. That's, that's pretty awesome. Let's appoint someone who is better. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can find somebody who will join our court. Join our court, yes. And we've got Gilanos. Excellent. We'll take you, sir. We'll take you. Meshalia. Meshalia. Okay. We want to get as many people who have the Valyrian religion in our court as possible. Because my goal is to essentially... Uh, we're, we're not going to convert to the Faith of the Seven. Although that would help us maintain control. Well, those those are your, you know those are the paths you have to go down. You choose do you do you choose the religion of your ancestors, ones that allow you to essentially control dragons, and take the religion penalty with the rest of Westeros, but then keep control of your dragons. The dragons are going to be how we maintain control, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we'll convert. Although converting would give us would remove that foreign religion penalty. Hmm. Curious. So let's get. Gal oh, we already invited him. Excellent. And then he will be our master. He will be our hand of the king. And then Oris Baratheon can go down and be our master at arms because I do want him to be down here to do shit. Uh, master of coin will be Lord Crispian. Good old crispy Crispian. Uh, let's get somebody who's a little bit better at um, Lenisha. Hmm. She'll be a better master of whispers, I bet. Lenisha. She's our master. 
Could we? She's SOC Valyrian. Should we marry only High Valyrians? Keep the bloodline pure. We could marry... We, we can marry another. And marrying uh, Lanisha, she's not that bad looking. And she is our Master Whispers, although she has some terrible traits. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just... We'll, we'll put that on the back burner. You guys let me know in the comment section who we should marry. Because you guys are really, really good at finding particular characters that I can't find. Uh, so let, let me know if there's any iconic characters that we can marry. We can add a third wife to the mix. All right. Court Physician, we will need one of those. We've got our Storm Singer, Aliris. Al Aliris. Let's um, proselytize. I think we'll have Dragonstone and Driftmark. Dragonstone will be our capital, because you guys know I always I always make Dragonstone the capital because of uh, Dragonmont here. Dragonmont makes your dragons live longer and grow faster. Excellent. You'll be crown focus. And then we want you not to proselytize. Or do we want to proselytize? Yeah, proselytize here, here in Dragonstone. So everybody here in Dragonstone will get converted. Excellent. We won't have Visenya be the master arms because she's gonna be in she's gonna be on the in the field with us. Our designated regent will be. Where is Visenya? She is my favorite. I know Aegon. Aegon really liked Rainies, and that's cool. That's cool if he likes Rainies, but I like Visenya. I like her more. So let's give out all these titles. Auto assign commanders. Um, I guess we'll give these really to whoever shows up here first. There we go. Cupbearer will be Crispian. Court tutor will be Lanisha. The King's Justice will be. Hmm. The King's Justice will be Danilo, because he is just. We'll make our mother a handmaiden. More commanders. Always good. Although these commanders are kind of subpar. They're kind of subpar. Uh, we have Visenya here, right? Where's Rainies? Oh, she... Is she... Wait a minute. Is she in my armies? She needs to be in my armies. Is she not... How old is Rainies? 23. She should be a commander. She's a bodyguard. I'm guessing she can't be both a bodyguard and a commander. That's not possible because Visenya is. Visenya is. Why can't we name Rainies a commander? That's really strange. Get the timer going a little bit. Uh, your Grace, Bellman Hayford, has refused your demands for his fealty and has taken up arms. We will show them the might of our dragons has declared war on us. Okay. The Valyrian's freehold politics is dominated by 40 families of great wealth, high birth, and strong sorceress ability, known as Dragon Lords. They spoke the High Valyrian language and had great skill in shaping stone. Incest and polygamy was a common practice among the blood of old Valyria. I am the dragon. We are... Whoa! Hey, what is that? What? Visenya Targaryen has had Vagar's whip added. Uh, that's an odd... Oh, right! Right, because I'm playing on 1.9, so there's going to be new shit. What is this? A any person who wins control of this dragon wins control of their whip. It serves as a record of past controllers. Ooh, so does it do anything? No, it's just a... Okay, it's just a, it's just a marker. Has Balerion's whip, has Maraxi's whip. Okay, so we have Balerion's whip here. Has a little Giscari, a little Giscari uh, model on it. I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, I like that crown. Nice. You! Oh, she's already a commander. Excellent. Um, so did our Hand of the King... Uh, did he join us yet? Are we still waiting for him? We might all hail his grace of the House Targaryen, the first of his name, King of the Andals, and run all the first men. Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. Long live the king! Um, has failed a call to arms. Alright, that's fine. Where is my new Hand of the King? Are we still waiting for that fool? I guess we're still waiting. I want to win the war. I want to win the war. And uh, I'm going to pick Marshall. Make us even better. Okay. Uh, he'll answer us in four days, I guess. Kick this up a little bit. Excellent. There he is. There is our man. We'll pick you. You'll be Hand of the King. Oris, you will be Master at Arms. Maybe we should have him lead our armies, too. He is a commander, is he not? I don't see why he wouldn't be. Where is he? Where is he? He's got to be our commander, right? Uh, maybe I'm just not seeing him here. Mm. All right, whatever, whatever. We'll have you train troops in Dragonstone. I don't know how, how much how much good that's gonna that's gonna be for us, but uh, oh hey, okay. We have more positions. We'll have Visenya as an advisor. Secondary advisor will be Rainies, our sister's court physician. Let's go get a court physician. Is that religion? All right. Build road work. Request a coronation. Send for a maester. That is what we will do. Excellent. Raise my armies. So we are at war with the Iron Isles. So I'm guessing this episode will be mainly us destroying Heron the Black and taking over the Iron... 
not taking over taking over all the Iron Isles? Does that include this place too? It seems it, it seems like it would. It seems like it would. All right. It seems the Tullys are supporting here in the Black. There are lots of Riverlanders who are not. Uh, as the conquest goes on, we're gonna have to choose new lords of each of the regions. So we we, we will we will be instituting the first Lord Paramount of the realm. So the houses we choose will be very very important. The Tullys generally are the best choice for the Riverlands, uh, just because they've got uh, they've got River Run. We could marry Winifrey Tull Tully, but that would that would uh, water down the bloodline. We don't want to do that. Here's the thing: the Tullys would be the best for R Lord Paramounts of the Riverlands, but they've taken up arms against us, so I think they've forfeited that right. So it seems uh, Lord Reaver Allen of Acorns Ridge, maybe House Brax, could be House Brax. Who uh, who rules this? Willow. Okay, we've got House Riger, and there's also House Malister, out of Seaguard. That could be a good option, House Malister. All right, let's get our ships. Get our ships going. Excellent. Get out here. Uh, the Iron Isles are pretty stupid, so they might actually uh, start landing. They might start landing their men here on uh, Dragonstone. Let's see. Here in the black is leading troops in Lonely Light. Are you kidding me? He's way the fuck over here. We could just go here and melt Her Hall. That might be the best choice. Oh, what's this? What is this? Who is idle? Oh, our master of laws. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have you sow descent in Heron Hall. Oh yeah, big armies. We have a lot less men than we normally do. I feel like I feel like we have a lot less men. Your Grace, the maester that has been sent to us. Excellent. Let's see if they will join. I am pleased to report that your errant subject, Sir Monfer Monf Monford of Windwyrm, has been converted. Excellent. Okay, can we sail here? No. I don't know, man. That's going to be really hard. 1,500 men. Almost 1,500 men marching against almost 10,000. Really? We we need more men. We need more men. Uh, we have... You! What can we... Are you supplying me with troops? Uh, I mean, you've got these levies. I could really use your men. I could really use your men. Request council support. Offer non aggression pact. Hmm. Oh, see. Okay. There's our, our. Our vassals were, I guess, getting their armies ready? I don't actually know. So, who's got the most men? Rosby and Duskendale. We need to get. Let's get how many men can this sh these ships can carry? Four thousand five hundred. So get these men on board the on board the ships, all of you, and we will go down to Hayford. You know what? Let's just fucking land our troops. No, land our troops here. You stay. Combine forces. You guys march here. You guys march to Rosby. You guys march to Rosby, and we will have you go over here. And you'll pick up all the rest of our men. And then we will go here and pick up the rest. Um, yeah, ten, the, the Ironborn already have 10,000. It should be okay. I feel better about our chances now. You're deep in thought <laughs> as court physician Morgan suddenly interrupts you. Your grace, I know that both of you in the queen... Which queen? Desire an heir for the realm. If you so wish, I could research ways to enhance your virility, all in order to facilitate the creation of a worthy successor. Not, uh, not a bad idea. What are you insinuating? I don't need help. <laughs> uh, yes, um, please go ahead. Uh, so I normally, I normally pick yes. I normally pick yes. We really do need an heir. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe we should wait till the conquest is over. Because when Visenya and Rhaenys get pregnant, they're not going to be able to help us in war. So actually, let's, let's, um, not. Let's, let's pick no. We'll pick no for now. And we will worry about that shit after the war is, is won. I need Visenya and Rhaenys, all three of our dragons. Excellent. And we will go to Harrenhal, and we will melt the Ironborn. We will destroy Harren the Black. And all the Riverlands will be liber liberated. Let's go to Maidenpool. We'll go to Maidenpool first. And we will bring reinforcements through the Western Bay of Crabs. I think we can even melt Maidenpool if we need to. Actually, you know what? Don't do that quite yet. March on Blackwater 
Blackwater Bay because they're about to take Egan's Fort, and uh, I ain't about to let that fall. Because that is one way. That is one way you can defeat on the fourth. The first of the fourth moon will be locked on the 27th. The 29th. Just get them away from Blackwater Bay. Dangerous factions. Independence. Ah, we've got some Crownlanders that are uh, trying to get independence. Get them away from Egan's Fort. Uh, yet your dragon, Balerion, is a ravenous beast. He regularly, regularly roams the lands of Dragonstone, gorging on the livestock of the small folk. Hundreds of them have seeked audience with you in the past months to protest at this. Their discontent growing all the while. I shall offer them some recompense. Uh, and almost go bankrupt. I think not, sir. I think not. I think they're gonna... I think the Ironborn are gonna put their men on ships. They're gonna put their men on ships and then sail to Dragonstone. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right, land at Dragonstone. Go down here. I don't think we're gonna be able to pick everybody, everybody up. Probably not. Is the war over here? War with uh, Lord Balmain of Hayford. It doesn't show that they're moving. They're still standing there. Once they... Son of a bitch, we're not going to be able to get everybody back on the ships. And if we deploy our... Dra deploy the dragons. Fuck it. Let's see. 1% chance uh, Balerion gets maimed. 2% chance he gets wounded. I like those odds. 80% of will... Okay. Ch chance they will mount a stern defense but ultimately lose. 20% the entire populace of the castle is exterminated. Dracarys away. Excellent. Um, imprison the family. Let's put them in house arrest. And the war is over with this small, uh, small, uh, little rebellion. Sweet. Get us back to the Blackwater Bay. Okay, they're getting on their ships. We need to get back to Dragonstone as, uh, just as soon as fucking possible. Mmm, I don't like that. Quickly. Alright. Oh, no, here they come. Okay, we need to split up. Split up, split up, split up. Uh, get on the ships. Maraxes has arrived at our court. That's cute. Aegon, Visenya, and Rainies. Rainies, hello. There you are. They will mount the defense of Dragonstone if need be. Which they very well might because I can see a huge Ironborn fleet coming in. And they're gonna fucking they're gonna fucking land. They're gonna land right on Dragonstone. This, if you guys have seen seen this in the past, this is where shit can get kind of bad for us. I've lost campaigns in the past because of this shit. All right, so that army is there. Go back here, pick up this army. I am praying to all the gods that all three of these guys will be able to deploy their dragons, which they very well might not be able to, because I don't see the option for it. They're landing, they're doing an amphibious landing. It's gonna be very rough for them. And we have dragons, but okay, okay. They start, okay, they have a huge disadvantage. Lord Reaver Vicon of Pike, Lord Reaver John. Can we deploy our dragons? We can, and we need to, because they vastly outnumber us. Deploy all the dragons. The field of fire, the enemy are beyond counting. Which is kind of odd, because Dragonstone, I've you know, if you've seen Dragonstone on the show... Ah, I guess there is grass. There is grass on Dragonstone, so never mind. I was going to say, it doesn't really seem like the type of island where you'd be able to do a Field of Fire. The Field of Fire, the enemy are beyond counting. Their ranks reach beyond the horizon, armor shining in the midday sun. Your dragon roars in eager anticipation, and you cannot help savoring your victory. Dracarys. The land is consumed by Dragonfire, and King Aegon Targaryen of Westeros is responsible for it. Yeah, it's it's not good. It's not good to burn the land, especially when, when the population is already kind of pissed off, but... Yeah, burned land. Unfortunate. But we need to win this war. We need to win the war. The conquest. We are going to need uh, Oris to suppress some revolts, which you won't be able to do f uh, for a couple of months. And Rainies unleashes her dragon as well. Ah. Victory! Damn, we decimated them. Holy shit. That was epic. That could have gone very, very badly there. If we didn't have Deploy Dragon, that could have been terrible. All right, and they, they're landing down. They're landing some more men. The bulk of their forces have been utterly annihilated. He's got 12,000 men now. Still not good. He's got abdominal pain. In command, yes. All right. So the war continues, and we've delivered a heroic defense of Dragonstone. Excellent. 
and they will be funneled into the army of Quentin, who will who, he will uh, he will clean up the stragglers. He will clean them up. Let's get these armies going here. Go ahead and mer merge them. Is this fleet going anywhere? No. All right, it is time for us to go on the offensive. But we will need to watch the we will need to watch the seas because if the Ironborn they've got more men they've got another ten thousand men they can throw at us. So we have to be watchful for that. We have seven thousand men. He is ten thousand. So let's go ahead and can we land uh, land here in Derry? That's what we'll do. And then we'll march on Harrenhal and we will melt the castle, much like Aegon did in the actual conquest. Excellent. And there's barely an oh hey whoa what is this? Attacking Iron King. Hey, oh, oh, the Tullys have switched sides. It seems that they've lulled Heron the Black into a false sense of, uh... Okay, well, either the Tullys had planned to turn on Heron the Black this whole time, and they merely wanted to lull him into a sense of a complacency, or they're opportunistic cowards, and they and they, and they switched sides the moment that uh, Heron the Black's army was utterly destroyed off the coast of Dragonstone. So it's probably one of those two things. I am thinking it was more oppor opportunity. I think that's why they did it. Ooh. Oh, shit. My liege, I believe that one of your vassals can be discouraged from associating with conspiratorial factions if the proper leverage is obtained. How do you wish to proceed your humble spy master, Lanisha? Does she want to get married? No? She's stressed? Ah, oh, poor thing. Priests cannot marry. That sucks for her. Apparently she's a priest. Uh, threaten the vassal. Who is this guy? Lord Reaver Roland. Ah, he is supporting the Independence Faction of Duskendale. Lord of Blackwater Rush, which is down here somewhere. Sit down here somewhere. Where is it? Blackwater Rush? Anywhere? I don't know. I can't see it. But the Lord of Duskendale. You can see we have a little special option here. I will pay him a visit on my dragon. This option is available because you have the Dragon Rider trait. Lose 10 gold. You fly to Duskendale on your dragon in order to intimidate Lord Reaver Roland Darklin. This has a high, higher chance six. This wait, wait, wait. This has a higher chance of success than other options. No shit. You're flying a fucking dragon. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fly a dragon over to Lord Reaver Roland of Duskendale. <laughs> Riding astride Balerion, you fly to pay Lord Reaver Roland an unannounced visit. On arrival, you land on the highest tower of the Dunfort, your dragon letting out a loud roar. Despite your obvious meaning, Lord Reaver Roland hosted you grudgingly, making it clear without saying that he had no intention of ceasing hostile scheming. Next time we visit, it may be with Dragonfire. He still refused! This fool still refused. Yeah, we might actually have to melt Duskendale. It may come to that. But for now, our army stands vigil outside of Harrenhal. Moments before we deploy the dragons. All of them. Deploying your dragon will annihilate the enemy host. Do it. Your enemies think they are safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe such petty defenses can hold back your fire? Dracarys. Hopefully this exterminates everybody. Let's see. Location. Castle of Kingspire Tower. Uh, the Castle Ruins. Gain Castle Ruins. Oh, so it, it can actually turn parts of cities into ruins. I, I, I love it. Is is that um is that event specific? Did, did, uh, can we ruin stuff in other places? That would be awesome. Do it. Burn the squids. Your grace. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm loving the updates they made in 1.9 for dragons. Your grace, the castle has fallen. Your dragon made quick work of it, bathing the defenders in dragon flame. Not one person survived the terror. Torold good brother being amongst the dead. All kneel before the dragon. Yes, indeed. At age 36, your acquaintance was killed. Was killed. Harighora. Okay. Korinhora. Othgar, Gwyneth, I don't know who that is. Uh, Harlan Hora, at age Lord Reaver Torwald, Harwin Hora, yes. Where is Heron? Iron King Heron. Holy shit. Holy shit, we, we just wiped out. We just wiped out House Hora. What the hell's going on over here? I don't know if, I think that's a bug. <laughs> I think that's a bug. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. 
Your grace, we've rounded up everybody we can find in Heron Hall. What should we do with them? Iron King Vicon. Let's take them all into house arrest. And the conquest of the Iron Isles is over. We paid a visit. Well, first of all, we mar we, we, we ended the rebellion of, of Hayford. House Hayford attempted a rebellion, which we, 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 we swiftly crushed. And then the Iron Islanders launched an all-out invasion of Dragonstone, from which we heroically defended with our uh, astride our dragons, pretty much. We destroyed the backbone of the Iron Islanders' army, and then we marched to Harrenhal, where we proceeded to melt the castle and ruin it. Or at least it should be ruined. It said it would be ruined. Castle ruins. Awesome. What is it? What is it? Since Aegon the Conqueror burnt Heron with all his sons, King Spire Tower has been a shadow of what it was. The five towers are melted like candles. Their upper layer is only inhabited by bats. What's more, every house who has held King Spire Tower has met a terrible end. Ah! So we utterly destroyed House House Hora. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where is uh Heron Hall? Lordship of Heron Hall. Let's look through the history. Heron the Black. How? There's a single living member. Oh, it's it's Prince Harris of the Iron Isles. Okay, and he's 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 on the wall. He's on the wall. He's the last of uh, House Hora. 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 House Hora has been annihilated, and the Iron Isles have been pretty much soundly defeated. Let's go ahead and send them some peace. Seize valuable artifact. Ooh, driftwood crown. Oh, change tyranny by five. We're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna send a raven. Actually, we don't need to. He's in our fucking dungeon. No, I'll just pay him a visit in the dungeons, and we will tell Iron King Vicon to bend the knee. Ah! Ah, yes, and we have the Driftwood Crown now. Excellent. The lordship of Crack the lords of Cracklaw Point have long resisted the overlordship of outsiders, but surely if I sent my sister Visenya to demand their submission, they would have no choice but to bend the knee before the dragons. They will submit. Excellent. Another kingdom has been conquered. Who shall submit to the true lord of the seven kingdoms next? And I believe the next one is going to be the Storm King in the Stormlands. At last, the dragon comes for Storm King Argalac the Arrogant. But that will have to be in the next episode. If you all enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, the War of Conquest. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later.